don't want to see me mad I'll be coming with that payback You don't want to taste that Don't want to see me on attack Trust me Hey guys, what's going that. on? Welcome to the Andy Elliott 1% Podcast 1% means the greatest, the best, not the other 99% um, I'm here today right now with Dane I'm here with Aaron Aaron is Jack Aaron, give me a bicep flip so <laughs> Come on, baby Hey, <laughs> let me see you, Dane Dane's pretty jacked, too, but he may be bigger. We're just shredding him down. We'll see what he looks like when we're shredding. Sorry. These guys are my buddies. They're my good friends. And I want to tell you why I'm doing this podcast today. Um, number one, I have dealers every day. I, you guys know I have about 10,000 automotive dealers on our training platform. Um, they message me all the time. They say, thank you so much for ke- connecting me with Aaron and Dane. Um, sales, like last year, a guy was just saying, hey, I did $8.3 million in sales with these guys. It's just crazy. Um, by the way, small town, small dealership. Everybody would say they couldn't have done this, and it's happened. But I hear these results all the time. So I've got a thousand freaking results coming in. They're helping dealerships blow up. I want to introduce them to everybody in the automotive space. Okay. So if you're a salesperson, you need to forward this video to your manager, your general manager. And then number two, if you're a general manager, if you own, if you own your company, if you can make decisions, like you need to reach out and have a conversation with these guys. And I'll say it a million times. You'll see a number below. Just text that number. All you got to do is text it, start a conversation. Am I right? Correct, sir. That's it. Just tell tell them where you're at, what's going on, what you want to do. Dude, I'm telling you, you will have the biggest week of your entire life right now. And I hear a lot of dealers complaining, whining, crying. You remember when during COVID, right? Like when everybody was killing it, profits were through the roof. We've got dealers right now that are doing more money than they did in COVID. And they did it right during COVID. But they're doing it right, right now. Okay? I always say this. If you do the right thing at the right time, you kill it. And right now, while everybody's complaining, everybody's whining, floor plans are up, interest rates are high, everybody has more inventory than they know what to do with. There's not a shortage of inventory anymore. You know, salespeople are the least trained they've ever been. This is your time right now to just dominate the market. So I love you guys. I'm going to turn it over to these guys. I want them to tell you a little bit about what they do, what's going on. They're very good friends of mine. I'm literally rolling out my Rolodex to you guys right now from the automotive space, how to destroy it. So Aaron, appreciate you, brother. Dane, appreciate you, Thanks big dog. Us, Thanks, Andy. And uh, and guys, wrap. Tell, so let's tell me a little bit about your company, what you guys do. So and listen. I love the elite. Sorry to cut you off, but I love uh, the elite dealer solution yeah we use elite like it's yep. it's, it's the best and you 100%. guys are the best yeah. and not only because i say it um, but because everybody says it and if somebody doesn't know you well they know you now and they can reach out and talk to you yep yes. yeah so we started this journey about seven years ago and what we found is car dealers are lacking a bunch of things but mainly they're lacking excitement in the showroom so for a five or six day event what we do is we fill our showrooms up with 100, 150 customers a day. We're delivering 15, 18, 20 cars sometimes. You know, our average gross profit right now for a sale, a five day event is over a half million dollars. Okay, so uh, again, if you're in the car industry right now, you're hurting. You're hurting for income. This is a, this is a solution. Even right now, through these tough times, dealers are complaining about salespeople, they're complaining about lack of inventory, they're complaining about lack of profit they're talking about the floor plan interest being too high that you know the inventory especially in the new car side is stacking up you know dealers can't sell them right now you know we can come in and we can sell new cars we can sell used cars right we're writing um anywhere from 90 to 100 car deals in a five or six day period so we're relieving all kinds of things and i don't are average size car dealerships correct yeah. i mean, I, mean well, I want everybody to know that like these aren't the biggest car dealerships these are average size car dealerships these are car dealerships that would normally do a hundred in a month that go to a hundred in a week. Yeah. Correct. We've got we've got yeah. stores that, that do a hundred and fifty to two hundred grand in gross pof- profit in a thirty day period, and we'll go in and put up seven hundred and fifty grand in eight days, yeah. uh, pretty quickly for them. So yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, we're we're pretty. Uh, you know, there, there's sales here. We just did a, a sale here recently. A car dealer we showed up. Uh, they had one hundred and seven used cars on the lot. They had about 30 new cars. We delivered 110 cars for $1.2 million. Yeah. In a tiny, little, sleepy little, little town little in a terrible sleepy market. town in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Would, you know, I love that. When somebody sometimes, somebody's three feet from gold. You know, I try to tell people, like, a lot of people are sitting on a bed of diamonds, and they just don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. Remember I told you guys this morning about the perspective? Like, what you guys do. By the way, I want to say this super important. I've never really liked staffed events, personally. Let me tell why. And, and, and everybody will agree with me here. The team comes in, 
they literally do the job for everyone else. The other salespeople don't get to make any money. The manager that's helping with the deals doesn't get along with the other managers because he thinks he's getting replaced or that guy's going to show him up. When you guys come in, you really come in like a self-development company. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I mean, from every company that I've talked to that you guys do business with that are my good friends that are diehard cutthroat car guys. I mean, like they're killers. And they say, dude, totally what you said it was. They came in, my team loves them. Y'all's team treats them amazing, makes them feel super powerful, really empowers them to be great, helps to build camaraderie in the showroom floor. Literally the vibes around the place go on fire and everybody's inspiring them that man, when we're gone, like let's connect anything you need go kill it, go crush it. This is a dream place. This is the best place to work on planet earth. Like your whole company will tell somebody when they walk into their company that you're sitting on a bed of diamonds. This is the best place to work on planet earth and we're going to have the funnest week of our life. We're going to take care of customers. We're going to make a lot of money. And then when I'm gone, you're going to continue to do it. And if we do a great job, they'll, they'll be invited back. So what I love is that the way that you treat, you treat people is you want to be invited back. You don't want to go in and just make a bunch of money and do it one time. You guys work by very, um, I'm going to say like a referral and a recurring database, like the R&R. &R. 100%. It's reoccurring, which means if somebody uses you, you're amazing. I would never want to, and, and then once you're in there, they'll go a month without you in there with, with the secret sauce, and then the next month, they're like, come on back in. Right. And I love that you guys have such a big team, and everyone in your company has such high standards. You guys are very compliant trained, you guys treat money like it's your own money. When you go to a company, you're super respectful. You love the teams. Matter of fact, when you go in, you leave the team that you're going in to help better than when you came in. Most people leave the team worse. And that's why people hate staffed events. And most companies get jealous when someone comes in to help yep. when you guys come in to empower them. Yep. That's it. Yep. It, it. It sells all the old age inventory without losses, right? You literally go through and you help them so they don't have high interest on everything. Right. It helps the salespeople make more money. And it honestly shows the managers and the, and the general managers a lot of times what was possible and what was capable. And you know, and if, if anything, you really learn what was there the whole time. Yep. Am yep. I right? Yep. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So let, let's talk about some um, like testimonies and, and some of your customers and things like that. Because I've got some really big stores, you know, like Lithia Motors. I mean, you know, um, with Mike up in, in the, they bought um, the, uh, gosh dang, what was that? The suburban. the suburban Group. Yeah, they bought the whole Suburban Group. I think it was 52 stores. Um, so Mike Cavernock, very, he's, he's the, the vice president up there. He's, he's my brother. I mean, he's like very, very good friend of mine. And, um, you know, we go out there, we work out with their teams, we train all their companies, we have a great time. Yep. And we've got lots of Lithia companies, but just talking about like that group, they're very big, highest profit in, in, in their in their district crushing it killing it you got guys like that and then you got a lot of our little, little independents you know let's talk about that as well um, yep. they sell 30 to 40 a month yep you know what I mean um, and you know I mean they, they would never think about doing something this big maybe they don't think that a small independent would be right right okay and that would be the worst thing so can you guys talk about some different stories across categories yeah. and then some things that you guys have done and i'll yeah. let you guys kind of yeah. run yeah. with it so we when we set out to do this you know six seven years ago we wanted to be different and kind of piggybacking off what you said we wanted to get invited back and you said you know you didn't like staffed events let's just get the elephant out in the room a lot of people don't there's a yeah. negative connotation that follows this business around just like the car business sure. people say i hate car sales. i love car salesmen yep. i think they're some of the best people i've ever met in my Me life I love them. you know i love them so but we sat out and we sat out and we did this we said man let's do everything completely different than any other company has done let's not right. focus on making a bunch of money let's get traffic in let's do the right thing and let's get invited back and so what happens is these people bring us in on a chance and on something different and maybe we'll try this and they're a little and then we become part of their business plan we become part of, you know, hey, how many are we doing this year? Well, you tell me. Well, let's do six. Great, I'll send you six. And that's kind of how it goes. But we've got, we've got corporate stores that, that we've put, you know, big stores that have hundreds and hundreds of cars that we've put giant numbers up. 
we've got stores in sleepy little towns where we're getting people to drive 50 miles yeah. uh, to come in and, and to, and to, you know, take where, a test where drive. People and, say, yeah, people don't drive 50 miles to come here. Yeah, I and mean, that's the reason why we're not getting any business. Yeah. And then you come in and show them that that business will drive. Yep. So, and what we do, like even during COVID and that, you know, our, it's, it's pretty bulletproof. I mean, we, you know, I know how much traffic we can generate in a five and eight day period. I know how many cars we're going to sell. I, I know kind of what we're, what we're going to do. A lot of the factors that a lot of dealers deal with when this isn't good and that isn't good and they're spending this kind of money, you know, our results really speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, go ahead. So, so to answer your question, though, about some recent success stories for, for these car dealerships, which we're actually, what, what are we doing on the ground for them? So, so I got an event running uh, this week for a, a small store with about 100 used cars in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we're going to put up over a half million dollars in gross for this store this week. And then I've got another event starting next week for their sister store, where we'll put up another half million dollars in gross. Two weeks later, they got a third sister store. You know, this is one of the uh, dealerships uh, that has three or four stores. We have all we have contracts with all four stores, but you know, over a year's period, we'll put up seven eight million dollars for them. We started at the Toyota store. I went and met with the GM, and he said, "Look, I'll sign a contract. You guys are never going to do more than three three hundred and fifty grand." This is just, I'll, but I'll sign based on these numbers. If you go higher, I'll pay you more, but you're not going to. If you do a good job, I'll sign four contracts a year, one a quarter. We came in the first sale. We did 816 grand, the first sale, yeah. and he, and he a, was and like, a, he was like, day he was like done. Yep. So that store every year, year over year, we've done in, anywhere from three and a half to just over four million for a Toyota store that stocks 75 used and 25 new. Dude, I want to tell you guys something. This is cool, and this is this is what you do. But I want to talk about like firsthand. I know Ian's sitting over here, but we've got a buddy. He owns a small little independent. Now you know me. Like when I started my company, um, I started in the automotive space. I mean, I do um, sales general like everywhere, but I love automotive. That's my baby. I was spent 21 years in it, right? Um, and I understand it like the back of my hand, and I understand that everything is all perception and everything is all perspective. And the chokehold on every company is the leadership. And once the leadership thinks that a company is maxed out, that company dies because of that leadership's psychology. The yep. psychology of the leader, changing the psychology of the leader will change the company faster than anything else. Yep. But sometimes you need someone else to come in and just show them that it was there. Does that make sense? Yep. So I was talking about Ian, me and Ian, we've got a guy in Tucson, right? And he reaches out to me and he goes, Hey man, what, what would you think about you coming in? This is two years ago. And he goes, I want you to work a Saturday with me. I go, dude, I don't do that. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm doing my deal. I'm super busy. He goes, dude, I don't care. Name your price. I want to show my team what's capable. And I really like this guy. And I've really, like, he's in my brotherhood. I love him. Yep. I love his wife. I love his kids. Yep. I love what he stands for. And it's kind of like that close. Have you ever made an exception just one time? <laughs> it's like, all right, I got Ian Macklin, Evan Macklin. I got Jacob Hagerman, Big Rye. So we grabbed those four guys because those were going to be our sales guys. And then I was like, I'm going to help desk. And I, and, and, and close too, but like, I was going to help desk. So we all five drove down to Tucson. They were doing, I don't know, 40 cars a month, just a small store. We, we delivered 30 cars on a Saturday. <laughs> I believe yeah, 31 cars. Yeah. And, and, and they all funded. Yeah. They all made really big grosses. Yep. You even sold two cars. I couldn't believe you still had <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, was, I got lucky. He was laid on. But you know what I'll tell you, though, is when we left, Ev, the, the, the finance guy had never seen that many deals. I mean, they had got one finance guy. Yeah. I mean, he was smoked. Yeah, you know? but. I mean, it was just, it, you know, you can already, you already know what this looks like. Everybody yeah. knows what this looks like. Yeah. Um, salespeople making more money than they ever imagined in life. Our team, we didn't even, we didn't even take any money. Yeah. He just paid us a flat deal. All his sales guys made more commissions they ever made in their life. Yeah. When we left, the store immediately went. It was a 40-car store. immediately went to a 100 to 120-car store. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video as you're hearing me talk with Aaron and Dane about how they're crushing it with automotive dealers. Listen to me, if you're a salesperson, you're working in your store right now, you see the number below, go get your general manager to text this number right now. These guys will come in, they'll make you a ton of money. You'll literally blow up. If you're a sales manager, if you're a general manager, if you're an owner and you're watching this, 
Guys, text these guys. It's not a one size fit all deal. Every single one of my dealers, I have 10,000 dealers in my training system. Every one of them that uses them, they get bit by the bug and every 60 days are inviting them back out because of the energy, the vibes, the money, the showroom, the customer service. They're just growing, which is the whole grow. Like everybody that I know that has progress in their life is really happy. Okay, so if you want to kill it, this is my greatest resource, my secret, and now I'm bringing it out in the open. So I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. Text the number below. Let's kill it. Look, what you guys do, and we were talking about how you guys are like a hero making machine. You guys go in and you just show people what is already there. It's not like you're bringing flying in customers from all around the world. Right. You're literally showing them what was already there. And, you know, it's special, man, that you guys love this industry. You love people so much. You respect, um, you know, what people have built and that you don't want to come in and change anything in a negative way. Yep. You only want to add to. You want to add positivity. You want to add good growth. You want to add uh, skill sets. You want to add and show what has been there the whole time. And when you can do that, you're like the magic dust. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of people love their people. A lot of companies, a lot of owners love their people. Yep. And there's some guy works in another state that could probably bring in and sell more cars and replace that leader, that manager. But that guy's been loyal. He loves being there. Right. And when you guys come in, you just show them what was there. You help increase their belief system because now they can see it. Yep. Look, owners tell their companies all the time. We know we can make more money. We know we can make more money. But until the team believes it, it doesn't matter. Right. And so you guys come in. You're a hero-making machine. You show that it has been there the whole time. You build great relationships. They love you while you're there. You're not disrupting anything. You're not bringing any negativity, any toxicness, nothing. Nobody talks bad. They make money. They have fun. You guys leave. Everybody's better. And then people are like, God, man, I mean, we need a, we need a dose of this. Yep. All, we need an energy drink like this, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. every month, every yep. other month, once a quarter, right? Yep. Our biggest win uh, most of the time is the grosses are great. I tell people this all the time. The grosses are great. We get rid of I, I have dealers call me like, dude, you got rid of 18 cars that I've been staring at for, and, and they love that kind of stuff. But the biggest win is when they tell me that a manager or a salesman that said, I hate these, I don't want these guys here. At the end of the sale, looks at him and goes, hey, man, when are these guys coming back? I had a lot of fun this week. I made a lot of money. I learned a lot. When are these guys coming back? Because this was awesome. That's a, that's a big win. That's something like when we set out to do this, we were like, that's what we want. Because we don't we didn't we don't want a GM to be like, hey, it's so part of our business plan. The team be like, oh man, we don't like it when those those guys come in. They mm -hmm. they just move us to the side. They're all egotistic. They think they got it all figured Dude, out. You guys have been in the car business for a long time, so you uh, you can put yourself in other people's shoes. Right. That's what I love about. I think that's why your company is the number one company in the world doing this and you're wiping out all the amateurs yep. because you guys have empathy you guys know when you come in you immediately know how everybody's going to feel yep. you know all the things that everybody's going to think yep. you know all the stories everybody's going to tell themselves in their head about what's happening yep. and you guys just start disarming all these things and then an owner sits back and goes man this is great yep Guys like you don't exist. Companies like this don't exist until now, and they have <laughs> existed. But it, we really haven't. I've just sent you guys a lot of business. You guys take care of all my clients. You guys are taking care of all these clients. Um, but not everybody knows everybody because you're not all flashy on social media. You're not running around saying, look at me. Right. I always say this. If you're good, you good people, they tell people they're good. Right. You guys are great. And if somebody's great, how do you know? Because everyone says they're great. And that's why I had you guys on the podcast, and I want to have you guys on a lot of these so that you guys, because you're great and all my clients tell me how great you are, I'm here to tell everybody that you're the greatest. So, like, I just think more people just need to know about you, and that was and that's the greatest thing that I could do. They always say the greatest compliment you can ever give someone is to refer them to a friend. And so I have a lot of really good friends that own a lot of really good stores that work really hard. They spend and sacrifice a lot of time away from their family. And they don't like writing small checks to their people. And this could be a blessing to every one of them, full spectrum. Mm -hmm. And a lot of managers that want to make a lot of money. Yep. Do listen, anybody that got a taste of some good money during COVID, a lot of people have had to readjust because the market was three times better. We didn't get three times better. Yep. But now we can take the market with what it's doing now and then we can become three times better. We can plan three times better and we can still make that COVID money. Right. Yep. 
Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just all here. It's been there the whole time. Right. Um, but let's talk about some more testimonies a little bit, right? Okay. So um, let's talk about your team for a minute, right? Yep. When your team goes in, mm -hmm. okay, you guys help with sales. Yep. Right? So, so essentially what we do is we send in a desk manager, uh, two closers, and anywhere from 10 to 20 salespeople. And, and you, you might think that sounds like a large number, but it's not. Just depending on the size of the Yeah, we can. Here, think think yeah, about yeah, it like, like this. Like you, you evaluate what yeah, we do. Yeah, think about it like this. You know, if you get 250 customers in a showroom in one day and they don't get help properly, you got nothing but problems. But if you're properly staffing these customers or you're properly helping them, you're, gonna, you're not gonna have any issues because they're help, getting help the right way. Mm -hmm. So again, overflow traffic let, let's let's just it, it's it's just what we do we fill showrooms up with traffic so we need to have the proper staffing but this is also how you you know you sell 100 120 cars in a five eight day period that's right you guys can't be the best by not guaranteeing the best results correct and you understand that, that usually they have like one guy juggling five customers right. yes yes and, and, you, and that's why people hate staffed events right so right. so here's 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 the most important part though you know when we come in we lock arms Right, my team becomes the home team. The home team becomes my team. Mm -hmm. Right, we treat everybody with that special feeling, that special respect. We show them the love that that you know that they want. Right, I mean we don't we don't come in and push people aside. We do the proper training. Right, we motivate them. We shift their minds. Right, we show them what's possible. Right, we give, we share our successes with them. You know, I my my sales staff. You know, they're there to eat for themselves. Mm -hmm. Right, but they're showing the home team sales staff love. Right. They're taking them aside saying, hey, man, you know, I saw you have had a rough time with this last customer. Why don't you try this next time? Right. But that's, you know, overall, that's you great. know, with everybody that's there on my squad. Mm -hmm. Right. Regardless of, um, you know, what, what level they're at, they're showing the home team love. But that's why we get invited back. Mm -hmm. You know, these dealer these dealers get hooked on this. And it's not just about the money, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're, we're leaving this feeling. They remember how we made them feel, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And and that and that's the key, right? The, even even right all the way down to the desk guys and the finance guys, we're leaving that good feeling. We're working at their speed limit, and we're all working together. You know, it's not us shoving them aside. So we're you know at the end of the day, you know th this isn't just about the money for a car dealer, right? It's about the training, right? It's about shifting a mindset. Because, you know, let's face it, right now, the mindset in a lot of these car dealerships is crap. You walk in the showroom, it's a dead, it looks, it, it feels like you're walking into a morgue, mm -hmm. right? So why and not? there's a lot of new blood in a lot of car dealerships, you know, new people. And, you know, you guys are older. I mean, you know, we're all, we're in our 40s, right? Are you healthy? I'm 40. <laughs> yeah. 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 So 40 healthy? 47. Yeah, so we're all in our 40s. Yep. You know, a lot of these guys have never seen the hustle a busy showroom floor like that they've never they've never seen anything like that and it's so good to show people things like that because it gives them an opportunity to really increase their skill increase their mindset stretch their brain yep. right yep. I mean a lot of people are brought in and I'm just saying to a car dealership they get an office they get you know there's the service drive there's the there's the internet department there's where the phone rings that's the front gate and they and sit then, around on their phone all day and they sit around and, and, that, and that's the, it. Yep. And when you guys come in, you literally show them a level of human excellence that literally inspires everybody to want to reach for more. Yeah. yeah. We breathe life into them. Yeah. yeah. That's I what happens. That. Yeah. I love that. Um, so you can bring in the people. That's super important. I love that. Yep. Um, you guys can run as many of these events as you want because you have a massive army of these people mm -hmm. that are unbelievable, super loving. Yep. yep. Um, Something we learned from you, man, is you, you when we really started trying to level up, we, and level ourselves up with self-development, we started attracting more and more and better salespeople started mm -hmm. reaching out. You know, we used to try to go find them. Hey, come work for us. And I haven't really heard of you guys. Heard you're pretty good. Now they're calling us. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about it all the time, like your level of success attracts, you know, all that, that saying. That's right. That's, that's, that's been big for us with, with salespeople. We feel like it's happening now. We're not even we, – we talked about when we left your master closer seminar. Let's just keep doing this, man, because we just had people start reaching out left and right. I was like, this is crazy. And he's like, we got to just keep going. We just got to keep leveling up, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're hearing me talk with Aaron and Dane about how they're crushing it with automotive dealers. Listen to me. If you're a salesperson, you're working in your store right now. You see the number below? Go get your general manager to text this number right now. These guys will come in. They'll make you a ton of money. 
you'll literally blow up. If you're a sales manager, if you're a general manager, if you're an owner and you're watching this, guys, text these guys. It's not a one size fit all deal. Every single one of my dealers, I have 10,000 dealers in my training system. Every one of them that uses them, they get bit by the bug and every 60 days are inviting them back out because of the energy, the vibes, the money, the showroom, the customer service. They're just growing, which is the whole grow. Like everybody that I know that has progress in their life is really happy. Okay, so if you want to kill it, this is my greatest resource, my secret, and now I'm bringing it out in the open. So I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. Text the number below. Let's kill it. But that's been the cool thing is to watch these people come gravitate towards us like a magnet because I think they're smart enough to see what's happening. I love that. Well, how, how, did, how, how long, you, like, how did you guys get started? So and why did you guys decide to do this? So we worked for a company a long time ago. There was a big company. They were one of the biggest. They're out of business now because they did everything wrong. They didn't care about people. It mm -hmm. was it just not a very good company. Mm -hmm. um, he was the top top guy at the company. Um, I was a young green pea. I actually never had been in the car business before. Mm -hmm. I was in the fitness industry. I played college football. I wasn't I wasn't around it. Mm -hmm. And through someone said, hey, you should do this. Some, some of these account exec executives can make 150, 200 grand a year. I was broke as a joke looking for a new start. Um, I drove, uh, I drove two hours every morning to get to a eight o'clock meeting with no gas and, and <laughs> slept in my car a couple times, but Dude, I've been there. He, he was the, he was the top guy at the company and I walked away. Um, I kind of learned the company and, and just some bad things happened. I, we, we lost every account we signed up. We ran them one time and they never ran again. Mm -hmm. And I left the company. We always kind of had a good relationship. And uh, I left and he said, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave soon, too. And I can tell you this. Um, I believe in this business. Um, I love it. If if I didn't have him, if I didn't link up with him, I wouldn't be doing this. Yep. I'd be doing something different. He, he's the he best. Holds bar high. He's the absolute best in the country. And if he's going to ask you to do something, he's already done it himself a thousand times. And that's he, he does what he says and he goes out and and just takes it to the max every day. So I knew when I was young, when we first started out and he said, Hey, you want to partner up and do this, you know, do this thing. I was like, I'm, I'm a hundred percent in if it's you. He looks you like know. Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? He wishes. No, but he looks like it though. You know what I'm saying? Especially from the side. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Jason's not this good looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. But if you look at him from the side, he looks identical. There you go. Um, but, uh, but he's more Jack. Yeah. I like that. Definitely. Um, so, so, you started it, right? Mm -hmm. Had this idea. You yeah. Guys, and want to do it right. Want to raise the so, standard. So we, I, you know, over the years, I've been in this game for over 20 years. And for the first 14 years, working for another larger outfit, I saw all the wrong ways to do things, right? So, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to change that. That's how you Put, learn. Yeah. So, so the dealer, the dealership, uh, you know, the dealers that do business with us, you know, we put them first. Right. We, we put ourselves second. It's not about, uh, you know, collecting a paycheck to us. It's about a relationship. We're trying to we're trying to establish long term relationships. Most of the business that we have are repeat customers. Right. We, we, we expand organically from within. And, you know, once once you get hooked on us, it's hard to get off. Mm -hmm. But that's the key. Right. That, that's that's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish that camaraderie that, that makes these dealers have a hard time not bringing us back. We're talking about once you use them, it's harder to kick than crack cocaine. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly <laughs> you know what, what we said. Right. And uh, um, so, what would you say? What are some of y'all standards, your core values, just as human beings? What's on the inside? So, I believe in a lot of things. Wife, um, kids, right. family. Yep, yep. So, so my number one focus in life is, you know, to have a great marriage. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two focus is uh, to be a great father. And that those, those are the those are the top two. I work on those things every morning. Mm -hmm. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Um, you know, but the, as, as as I get moving along and try to level up more and more, you know, it, I keep my wife in front of me. I keep my kids in front of me. I keep God in front of me. Like I, I don't, it, you know, the money's easy. You know, when when you when you have the ability to make money, mm -hmm. but you know, when when and deep down, what all that really matters is family. Yeah. So so to me. I, you know, the, the, the money's not, not really all that great to me, but, but a, a great relationship with, with the people I love, that, that's what I'm all about. That's good. Yeah. You know? Six months ago, I clicked on one of your videos, never heard of you before, I think, before that. Maybe in, you know, in passing, but I clicked on one, you know, on Instagram, how it works, and they pop up, and I just, I got hooked on them. So I started showing, I started showing Aaron. I said, hey, check this guy out. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, some of these meetings he has, you know, and they're quick, mm -hmm. you know, quick reels and stuff. So 
it, it piqued our interest. But I think what, what hooked us um, was the family aspect mm -hmm. of it. You know, Jackie, your kids, Ian, you know, Evan, the, the, just the, how you guys came up and how you, you know, and then how you guys treat your families and stuff like that. That's important to us. You know, we feel the exact same way. So that was, you know, we try to share that same, we try to share that same message in our company um, with our guys. You know, we've got a lot of guys that we've pulled up, you know, Aaron, Aaron has pulled some of these sales guys. I mean, literally gotten them out of jail, cleaned them up. And you would not believe what these kids look like, the way that they're approaching their family, the way that they're approaching business they and they're, they went, you know, they were 24, 21 year old complete messes. And now they're 26 and they're making all the money and, and they're just, they're doing, they're good. just leveling up. And that, that's the kind of stuff we really like, man, is showing up for other people. So our, our sales meetings that we hold with all, you know, with our entire staff aren't revolved around skill stacking or, or, or closing more car deals. It's a, they, they, they really revolve around, you know, bettering them, their, their lives. So they can improve their families. They can improve their, you know, being a better father, and really start to experience some of the things that I experience, right? Because I, I want to see everybody around me get better. You know, I was saying this the other day, right? Because there's such a scarcity, there's such a shortage of leadership in this world. Yep. Right? And like, it's just you can't find it anywhere. You no. can't find it in the community. You can't find it in companies. You can't find it at home. Right. You can't find it anybody anywhere. I want to ask everybody a question. If somebody wasn't doing good, or if they were struggling, or if they've had a hard time, or if they've made bad decisions, what would be the right thing to do? To tell them, dude, you screwed up, man. You know what I mean? You're a loser. Like, people like you, you guys, you're losers. Or would it be like, hey, it's all about from today forward. Yep. Look, it doesn't matter who you are. It matters who you're becoming. Yep. And if you do something that's wrong, and you know that it's wrong, and you have the option to change, and you get another second chance with God, then, then you take it. Yep. And like, that's what good leaders do. Leaders remind people that like, you had to do this so that you'd appreciate when you do become the right person, what not to do. Right. Right. Like sometimes in the Bible, it says, I know what to do, but I do what's wrong. Yep. Like, you know, I know what to do. I, I'm aware of it. But why the hell do I do this anyway? Right. It's like, we're all human beings. Right. And at the end of the day, I love that you guys are such a good influence on your on on the automotive industry. You're such a good influence on the finance department, the sales managers, the company. So the bonus is, yeah, the business, the ROI, they make a whole bunch of money. Yep. But really you leave their team with more than just money. You leave their team with just high level individuals being around their company makes them all like level up into higher yep. level individuals. We had kind of a cool become a product of your environment. Yeah. We had kind of a cool aha moment a while back. Aaron gives out a lot of spiffs, um, thousands upon thousands of dollars every sale, whether it's five or eight days to these sales guys. And it was always, you know, first car out, double, who can double up, highest gross, you know, and you, you're giving the, and these sales guys got excited about it. And I, whenever it was recently, he, he went through a shift and he goes, hey, I'm stopping all of that. He goes, every single spiff that, that we're going to give out moving forward is going to be based on self-development. Mm. And when we shifted that, these sales guys were looking at us like we had three heads. Like, yeah. I mean, literally rolling their eyes like this is stupid. This is and the the shift that we've had in the company yeah. has been so cool to watch because you get these people who, especially some of the older dogs mm -hmm. and people that have been stuck in their ways. And I'm not reading a book. I'm not getting on a call. And they're doing it. And they're starting to get, and you can see them coming in. They're looking better, and, and they're feeling change. better, and their eyes change. Yeah. It's really cool, man. It's yeah, it's been a cool shift. Yeah. Well, that's called that's called leadership. Yeah. And there's not much of it. And and it, by the way, Chick Fil A, they close on Sundays, and they make more money than anybody else. Than everybody. Hobby Lobby closes on Sunday, right. and they make more money than anybody else. Yeah. It's just like some of these great companies that are just the best. They just do things a little bit differently. Yep. They operate a little bit differently, and everything's not about money. Right. Everything's about just the quality of life you have. Yep. And the better of a quality of life you have, the more that you love who you're becoming, what your core beliefs are, what's on the inside, well then, you just, you kill it, and you do really well. And the whole time, it was like, become a better person. Yep. So I love that you guys are really like, bleeding into the automotive industry of like become great but also your business because of how skilled you guys are are making people a lot of money and when people have to spend this money they want to get a really good return mm -hmm. but then also there's human capital and when they have you come into their team they also want to they want to come and find out which they do that their team is stronger and better after you guys leave than they were before you came absolutely 
And it's like, okay, human capital increases to the roof. We got a big paycheck. Our customers are really happy. We got to see what was possible. We didn't even know was was possible. And we built a relationship with these people that anytime we can call now and we can create, if it's going to be a slow month, if it's going to be a tax season month, if it's going to be a November, a December, if it's going to be anything, they can plan and guarantee that, hey, we're going to blow it up this month. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Super cool stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, super important, guys. I wanted to introduce you to my good friends. And you guys know every single time that I know people that are just kicking ass, that are killing it, but also they're really good people. I'm like, okay, you guys got to meet them. Okay, because there's a lot of you right now that are watching this and you're like, dude, I like this. I need this. This is what I need to do. And so I always say it's the right message to the right person at the right time. So I want to be telling your story one day. I want to be introducing you to, you know, 100 million people on the Internet. I want to I want to let everybody know who you are when you're putting in the work, doing the right thing. And you're doing it for a long time. This is seven years in the making to where you guys are now. And now testimonies are just coming out everywhere on how you guys are helping dealerships make money like they did during COVID. And you guys are awesome and not disrupting their companies. You know, so guys, everybody do me a favor. If you're a salesperson, share this with your manager, share this with your general manager, share this with your owner, just share the video. Okay. So, and then secondly, if you're watching this and you are, you know, you have a company or you're a general manager, or you're a manager, I just want you to text the number below. That's it. Just set up a call, ask some information, anything you want to ask, ask them, and I promise you it'll blow your mind. So, guys, I love you. How can they follow you guys on social media if they want to? I know you guys don't use a lot of it, but if they want to. So, A Prime Eula is my uh, Instagram yeah. tag, P R Y M U L A, and my full name, Aaron Prime Eula, A A R O N P R Y M U L A, Facebook. Yep. I love that. And we're yep. Elite Dealer Solutions. Yep. Um, yeah, we're on a, we're, we're, we've got a business page, Elite Dealer Instagram. Solutions. But the best way is just send a text. Send the text. Maybe you guys yep. will reach out to him. Yes, sir. It's simple, guys. You don't need to call. Just send a text. They'll, they'll get back with you. You guys kick some butt. So, guys, we love you. Have a blessed day. Anything you need, let me know. All of my greatest companies that are killing it are using these guys. Trust me. Just send them a text. They'll take it from there. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. I appreciate you, Aaron. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, appreciate big you, dog. Brother. You too, baby. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next podcast. Let's see go. You, guys. you don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with that payback. You hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. You'll be wishing you could take it back, yeah. Like an assassin, I'm praying I gotta...